Hey, this is Brad Gill at Next Up Lifestyles. Welcome back to another market update for the city of San Jose. It is the week of October 3rd. So what's happening? Let's check in with the active and pending numbers. So active numbers are, surprise, surprise, going down a little bit more this week compared to last. And pending numbers are down too. We're down 7% in the total number of pending properties. Those are properties that have received um, an offer and the buyer and the seller have negotiated and ratified a contract over the last seven days. We're seeing a bit of a decline in the number of pending properties because interest rates have gone up to the highest amount we've seen yet all year. That comes on the tail end of the Fed meeting last week where the threat of inflation still remains, so interest rates are still on the rise. Um, looking at the trends, we had 157 units um, come onto the market in active status. That's new single family homes, condominiums and townhouses just listed. That is 15% lower than last week. And that's just the, the seasonal normal for this time of year. As we're heading towards the uh, mid fall into winter time, we're gonna see that number continuing to drop off as we get closer to November, especially around Thanksgiving. And we really are gonna see a decrease in number of listings on the market. But I definitely don't expect that number of new homes to come up. Again, partly due to seasonality and also due to the fact that we've just seen continual pressure on prices to decline because of those interest rates continuing to go up and continuing to erode home buyer affordability. Speaking of home buyer affordability, demand. So demand went down 8%. We had 96 units go under contract uh, from last week. Um, last week had 104, which is down 15% for the week before. And again, that's linked to rates. We'll jump down to rates. So we jumped up to 6.7% on a 30 year fixed. Look at that, up almost a half a percent higher from last week alone. That's just a huge increase and there's only so much more, you know, with the rate going up, that buyers are able to come in and continue keeping the same affordability as they had before. Um, speaking of which, uh, market expectations. So 67 units came off the market. They failed to sell, canceled, or with, were withdrawn from the market. That's up from the week before at 49. Again, nothing too out of the ordinary there. Um, Weekly price changes, again, with rates going up and pending activity dropping, we definitely are gonna see a little bit of an increase in the number of homes going through price changes. But nonetheless, we are at 36% of the market, uh, which is similar to last week that underwent a price change. As you recall, 30% is kind of that even number for a pretty even market, so we're not too far away. But again, we are gonna see some pressure on that going up until interest rates start coming down and buyers start regaining some of that affordability. Um, what's to come in, in the weeks ahead? Probably again, lower amount of inventory, but all eyes are on buyer demand at this point in the game. That's the only thing that can fluctuate and that'll set up how the conditions are gonna be at the beginning of the year. So if rates stay high, buyer demand's probably gonna continue to steadily decrease and fall off towards the end of the year. However, if rates turn around and start coming down, then it's gonna be a great opportunity for buyers out there to buy properties and lock in a lower rate as things are starting to decrease. Very opportune time in the market uh, for a home buyer in fall. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this week's market update. I hope it uh, provided some insight for you, especially if you're in the middle of making a buy or sell decision. And of course, if you wanna talk strategy, feel free to give me a call. Uh, shoot me a text or an email. I'd love to talk to you about that strategy. And otherwise, look forward to talking to you next week.